So this is going to be investigation number 46, guys. Uh, I'm deliberately going to make a few errors and um, definitely no safety errors, but just keep in mind um, some things for your report. So I will make a few errors by purpose so you can have something to write about um, in terms of reducing error or where some possible errors could be. Um, but safety is a big one. Um, we're doing this in a fume hood because the, the fumes from this are toxic. Okay, so every time we do organic chem um, with all these cyclohexane, hexanes and toluenes and aromatics, we do it in a fume hood. So the first thing, uh, I've labelled some test tubes. XA is your cyclohexane. XE is your cyclohexane. T is the toluene. So I've got pretty much the same thing set up, exactly the same size test tubes. Um, and the first thing that we're going to do is put one mil of each of the cyclohexane, cyclohexane and toluene in. So I'm going to use a pipette and it tells me where one mil is. I do have a measuring cylinder as well, but I'm going to choose to use the pipette. So we'll start with cyclohexane. Cyclohexane, it's just going to go straight in. Change pipettes to stop cross contamination. Put the lid on to make sure it doesn't spill. Next one, toluene. So this is an aromatic, this has got a benzene um, base and something else on. I'll leave that up to you to research what the what the alcohol group or what the extra group is. Okay. Leave that out of the way. So I'm keeping my head out of the fume hood as well guys. And I'm just gonna label the pipette that I used. Okay. And the last one, one mil of cyclohexane. So keep in mind, uh, you're not actually going to be able to see where I'm measuring it from, like my eyes. So that's just a little hint as to one of the errors, maybe. Okay, so I've got a mil of each. Then, if you look at Investigation 46 in your book, it tells you to mix up a potassium permanganate mixture with sulfuric acid. So I'm going to do that. And this potassium permanganate is really cool. It's like this oops, it's deep purple colour. So we need four mils of this. Okay. This looks wicked. So, roughly two mils there. Okay, this is awesome purple colour. Sorry about the angle, I've got the fan point, so I'm doing the best I can. And I'm just going to get my head eye level to measure four mil, so that is four mil right there. Okay, pop this back. And we need two mils of hydrochloric acid. Actually, sorry, sulfuric acid. Exactly two mil there. So we got a nice little acidified um, potassium permanganate, as it says, under step two. The lid on, move that back. 
my computer screen. It's gone off, hopefully that kept recording. Next thing it tells us to do is add one mil of acidified potassium permanganate into each um, test tube. So, we're going to get one mil, and the first one I'll add it to is cyclohexane. So this is really hard to show you guys because I'm doing it all backwards, but. Okay, so there's one mil in the cyclohexane. I'll see as close as I can get it. It's kind of a little bit bubbly on the bottom, but there's definitely sort of two layers. One's a clear layer on top, and one is a deep purple layer. Get another, what was it? One mil. I might have added two mil there, but not one mil. I'll add it to the toluene. Okay, and we can see the toluene fairly similar. Okay, not as much bubbles on the bottom, but two definitive layers. Last bit of acidified potassium permanganate. And this is with our hexane, cyclohexane. Okay. So again, a pretty distinct two layers. And the instructions tell us to put the test tube stopper on and shake each test tube gently. And we're gonna record any change in color. So, toluene. Or not in change of color, but just any change that takes place in the top layer, it says. So. <laughs> gently shaking that, that's the toluene. Do the cyclohexane. Move this out of the way. Okay, so you should have a results table, some way of recording this. So it's up to you how you decide, but so you're looking at that top layer, if there's any sort of change. To me, that looks still pretty separated. This one, straight away we can see there's been a colour change without even shaking it. That's the cyclohexane. So it's like a light sort of brownie. And if I give it a gentle shake, it's fairly, fairly see-through. Okay, so that's happened relatively quick. Remember relative, where it's saying uh, what's the reactions uh, relative to each other, relative reactions, that's just in comparison to each other. So relatively you could say that this one is reacting quite fast compared to the other two. It does say to leave it for five minutes, so I'm just gonna let that settle for five minutes. There's a reason why they said that, so I'm not gonna give you the answer, but <clears throat> just to, to let it sit after five minutes, why might they why might they say to do that? So the next part, part two. It's almost exactly the same, except for we're going to do it with bromine water now. So I'm going to do the same thing, one mil of each. So I get the cyclohexane. So if you've done some of your research, you might know what uh, the reactions are called. Definitely for one of them.
we got the other Toby Wayne, the automatic. The screen's gone off again. Hopefully that didn't skip too much, but I haven't done anything, so I just waited for the screen. I told you, Ian, I'm just getting two mils. Straight in. This isn't super important, just keep in mind there might be some errors in this part. And cyclohexane. Hairy arm on your screen. So, uh, we've got our three ones in. Now, I want us to mix it with bromine water. So, we're just going to add one ml of bromine water to each one. Bromine water looks like this, and we'll do the same order. We'll go cyclohexane. So I can see it's not really mixing. It's pretty much two distinct layers. Toluene. Fairly distinct layers, and one mil to the cyclohexane, which was the most reactive of the other ones. Let's have a look at this one. Okay, it's still in kind of two layers. Haven't stirred any of them yet. Pop the lid back on here. Cyclohexane, give it a little stir. So you can record any color change again. I reckon that's a little bit mixed, but not really. Still kind of two layers. Toluene. So it's still kind of two layers. Maybe it's a bit hard to see, but the top layer is a little bit darker. It's a bit of a darker colour change for sure if we compare the two. The top layer of the toluene is definitely, definitely darker. Let's put my hand behind it there. Yeah, it's a little bit, even a little bit cloudy. That's the toluene. And then, I've already got a colour change compared to the others. A little bit of a stir, almost instantly. It's, uh, it's reacted and gone see-through. So that is uh, some form of reaction that you might be able to find that in your essentials cam book or if you've done your research beforehand questions one so toluene cyclohexane and the one on the far right is hexane now i'm going to have a look at the other ones it's been about five minutes cyclohexane Completely see-through. Toluene, still pretty, pretty much two layers, one clear, one not. Cyclohexane, again, pretty similar to the toluene. All right, good.
Good luck with your ride up.